What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and today I have a review very proudly of the Bandai Movie Monsters series Godzilla 2023 Godzilla Minus One Metallic Version or Silver Version, Metallic Version I believe is what it's called and I say very proud because congratulations uh, to Toho to the Godzilla Minus One SFX team because they won the Academy Award last night for Godzilla Minus One in special effects. And that is incredible. That is the first ever, ever <laughs> Academy Award in the 70 year history of Godzilla and it is well overdue. And it is, you know what, as much as I say that, you know, Godzilla Minus One deserved, honestly, at the very least, a best foreign language film nod, if not a best film nod, period, um, it absolutely should have won this award based on all of the visual effects that has been part of this franchise from the beginning. Do you know how many people have been influenced by the visual effects, cheesy or not, that are working in this industry today by the effects of Godzilla? So when Godzilla was nominated for this award, I think automatically it was winning. But without any further ado, let's just get to this review. So guys, just you know, I'm I'm you know gonna say this here again. If it didn't sound like it in the beginning, this review might be just a tad long because I'm gonna be talking a little. It's not just a review of a toy. It's a little bit of a commentary, a little bit of a chat, if you will. Oh, let's talk. <laughs> not really. It's still a review uh, of a Godzilla, of Godzilla minus one, of what we just talked about. Of the movie Monster Series, there's a lot to, to talk about here. So if you didn't see my Instagram earlier today, and I'm saying earlier today because I believe I'm putting this out on the day after um, Godzilla Minus One won the award, uh, won an Oscar. And here's the card, you know, hey, look, it's a card. Looks pretty cool. Um, I got this at the US Godzilla store, and it is my first purchase from the US Godzilla store. Though I have flirted with getting a couple things in the past. Uh, I was gonna pre-order this guy originally along with the other things that I got, but I ended up not doing so um, for a number of reasons. I, I, You guys know I haven't reviewed a movie monster series in quite a bit. Um, since, you know, sometime earlier last year, I, I wanna say mid last year, but it might've been even earlier. Um, I just kind of like stopped on the line. There was too many coming out at that time, and I was just like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just stopping right now. <laughs> There's too many things coming out that I really, really want to check out, and um, you know, part of it was, you know, movie monster series barely ever makes my tops of the year. I think maybe once or twice it has, uh, and you know, that that to me was like a reason why I was just like, you know what, I can calm down on this line. Uh, however, that said. I did kind of miss the line, and when I saw that the uh, U.S. store did get back in this guy, and I really wanted a copy of this mold because I never got this one. I stopped right when the first version was coming out. Um, I, I thought this was a nice one to get, you know? I already knew that uh, the nomination was in, and I thought this was a really, really nice-looking one to get. Something different than just a standard one. Uh, I think there's a gold one maybe too, but like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I just, uh, which would be apropos, right? Uh, but this, this is really, really nice looking and it's my first, you know, version of the mold. I flirted with getting the regular one and I had a pre-order for some sort of Amazon release of it. I don't know if that was an official thing or not. Um, but then it got delayed and I canceled it. So, um, and then I got this guy and a few others. So like I was saying, if you saw my Instagram, I did get this guy in earlier today and with 
three others, and you can check my Instagram because there was an unboxing of it. Uh, and more unboxing content, single unboxing content will be going on Instagram. So just a channel note, do go check it out. It's not gonna be transferring too much over to Facebook either. So make sure you are following me on Instagram because I am trying to separate those two socials just a little bit of what they do. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud to be a Godzilla fan today. It's very, very cool. I really was like, it's so perfect that I got this box in today. Uh, and you know, my Ultra Z News last night had uh, Godzilla Minus One uh, notes in it. And um, to be able to review a Godzilla Minus One the day after really, really makes me happy. And I'm very, again, proud to um, be a Godzilla fan today and, you know, be in it since day one of my existence, basically. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's very, very, very cool. And uh, yeah, it, it definitely, I'll tell you, it brought a tear in my eye to um, to, to see that happen. And uh, the team is very proud of what they've done and they should be. It's a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, do go see it. Uh, this figure looks awesome. Like as I like, you know, turn it around here on my desk a little bit in my hands, I could tell that the um, the details are fantastic. And I don't know if the regular version, because it's so gray and stuff, uh, is able to showcase how great the details are on this movie monster series. Yeah, I, as well as um this more metallic one is doing. This is beautiful. Look at this tail. Very, very nice. I like the dorsals on the tail too. Really, really well done. Lots of excellent details here. Beautifully, beautifully done. Dorsals on the top here look great. Nice texture on them. Zoom in so you can see them in full detail. Look at that. Doesn't that metallic silver look fantastic too? I love it. Really, really gorgeous. Legs look awesome. Absolutely stunning. Going up the middle leg and I actually just changed my lighting just a tad because I was getting some gold lighting on it and while well, fitting almost, um, I wanted to make sure you saw this in the proper coloring. So you, it's silver, you know, <laughs> it's, there's no gold on it. That was just a shine from overheads. The arms look really nice. I do like it. I do think I'm gonna keep this tag on. I might, if I still, you know, if I'm gonna keep getting these, I might keep the tags on from now on. I don't love doing that. I never have, but uh, I mean, I've kept tags on some, but eh, I don't know. Might do that now. Now that I've taken a break from movie monster series, um, and you know, given the the four that I picked up a chance um, to win me back, it, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful figure. Very very nice details. Absolutely love all the little like osteoderms and little bumps and grooves and folds and wrinkles and. All of that. Little scooties on the toes going down. Love it. Again, just beautiful, beautiful details all around here. Just appreciate this one. Like I am. And here's the head sculpt. And it, the eyes are done in gold. So you got silver and gold. Oh, yeah. Gold eyes with the black pupil. Can't tell if my eyes are a bit off or it's just the lighting reflecting. Like this eye looks a little bit off, but that's just zoomed in. Like if we zoom out and see it like pretty normally, it's a little bit harder to tell. This eye looks perfect though, I think. Either way, it's fine. When you look at it like this, it's not so bad. Then the mouth has a nice metallic, like red on it too. Like kind of like a pinkish red. Teeth are picked out in silver as well. 
not like the best, but like it's it's fine enough. Yeah, when you look at it like this, uh, yeah, you see the eye is moving. That means the the the, the lighting is shining in it. But pretty good. Proportions are decently nice, you know. It, this is a cool piece. Very happy to have it. Uh, and again, happy to have it right now to be able to just, you know, celebrate a little bit. You know, it, it is such a cool thing. And well deserved, well overdue. And uh, I'm glad I got the figure now. It's great. It is very, very nice, you know. Um, I, I think it's cool. It is. It works. It definitely works. Uh, as my Movie Monster Series representation, I'm glad uh, this is the one I ultimately got. I'm, I don't think I'd get another variant. Um, that's the thing. One of the things that I was hating was like too many variants, like Godzilla Store exclusives. Uh, and another thing is the fact that once the God and I said this at some point, once the Godzilla US store opened, I kind of wanted to see how far behind they were from like Japanese releases. Um, and if that mattered to me too much. Um, because I'd rather just get them from here. I would. Uh, because I, one of the things that always was like a little bother was like having to pay, you know, big shipping prices for Movie Monster series never felt right to me. Never, never did. That's why I tried to get like a bunch in a row sometimes, but never getting one. It was just never cost effective. You never got what you paid for, and that was a bother, um, unfortunately. So as time went on last year, I, I tried to change the way I ordered stuff a lot. And you saw that here a lot. And um, that's, you know, hey, it is what it is, detriment to, to my channel, but... Uh, better for my wallet uh, is definitely the way I needed to go at that point. But this is a great figure, and I'm glad I got it. And for your size comparisons, I thought I'd bring in a couple more metallic uh, Godzilla Store exclusive uh, figures with Mecha Godzilla and Gigan. Those two kind of match with their more uh, metallic teal, but still, you know, special metallic ones that I like. Um, th this one is one of the ones that did make my my tops of the year when it came out. Uh, and I believe uh, the first Gamma release was the other one. But very, very nice figures. Obviously, this is a nice one, too. Uh, and they're also ones that I kept the tags on. So th that's a pretty good and consistent with this guy as well. And for a sneak peek of the other three Movie Monster Series figures, you're going to be seeing reviews of uh, shortly from me. Here are Baggin, Rose Violante, and Titanosaurus. Uh, these four all came together from the Godzilla store. And I'm uh, very, very happy to have them. And uh, happy to review some new MMS figures for you guys. You know, they, they came out like, a, I guess, a few months back now. But, but still, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my final thoughts, very happy to have this figure. Again, very happy to have it today. The day after Godzilla Minus One wins the first Academy Award in the franchise's history. Very well deserved. Uh, so I'm really happy to have this. I'm so glad I pulled the trigger last week when I saw uh, the Godzilla US store uh, got these guys back in. Because I missed the pre-order. I, I, I was going to pre-order them and then I canceled it. Again, too many things happening towards the end of last year when these were going to come out. Um, so I just kind of pumped the brakes there. Uh, so very happy. Very happy to uh, have gotten this guy. I've gotten the other ones. Again, like I said just now, do stay tuned for those. Uh, they are coming amongst other reviews. Uh, you're going you're gonna to want to see. So, uh, but yeah, this is awesome. Perfect timing. Had to get this guy in front of the camera today. Just because I wanted to say some uh, more things about you know, the movie and the Academy Award and what it means. Uh, it, it's awesome. It is awesome. It is a really, really cool day to celebrate Godzilla in all its glory. And I'm glad I was able to do so. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself. 
for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection with everything you love. Till next time, peace out, peace.